Hi, my name's Ed, and that's my brother Leo, um, and we're going to do a CAN bus Subaru conversion on our VW T25. Um, we've been planning on doing this for years, and I thought we would do a sort of a video diary, um, partly because we've met quite a lot of resistance um, in the VW community for the CAN bus conversion. Um, in my mind, it just makes more sense because although it's a lot more extra work with the wiring, um, I think I feel like it just opens up way more options for like newer engine parts. Um, because even the newest um, EJ 20s and 25s from like the 90s um, Subarus are now like almost 20 years old. Um, so doing the CAN bus conversion in my mind just opens like the, the number of parts that we can get. Um, and like the age of the engine components are just going to be a lot newer. Um, so that's kind of why we're doing it. Uh, so we're doing it to our late VW T25. <laughs> um, uh, it's a D-Reg water-cooled. Luckily it's water-cooled already. Um, so it's got, a, it's got a radiator down the front um, and it's got all the, um, the plumbing already in it. Um, and it had a DG 1.9 uh, boxer engine in it originally, which we've now sold. Um, so you can see we have no engine. Um, there's our gearbox. Um, and we've bought the RJES engine mount bar. And we've also got the Subaru to T25 RJES um, adapter bell housing. Um, and with the Subaru, uh, it's wrapped up at the moment, uh, Subaru input shaft, so we can use a standard Subaru clutch um, with our bell housing. Uh, it's a dual mass flywheel and clutch, which again, we've had some resistance. I've heard bad things about them, um, but we have gone and seen one other person who's done this CAN bus conversion on their VW um, and he has a dual mass flywheel and clutch as well and said he's had no problems so I'm not too worried about that. I guess it's expensive if you need to buy a new one but it's just money isn't it? Um, it's, just, it's not like a physical barrier. Um, so we're going to be using the Subaru um, drive-by-wire throttle and we're going to mount it down in the footwell um, where it's supposed to be we're hoping to retain the cruise control as well um, and we're also going to be using the Subaru dash clocks um, instead of the VW ones um, so yeah I thought we'd just make this video diary of our progress so sort of other people can see um, like the pitfalls that we've fallen into I there's gonna it's gonna be difficult we know it's gonna be difficult especially the wiring um, getting the engine bolted in is easy and plumbing it all up uh, changing the fuel pump and stuff that's the easy bit I think the difficult bit of this conversion is definitely going to be the wiring um, we're going to control it with an Arduino um, so we're going to be using an Arduino to spoof signals down CAN bus uh, to the ECU so that we don't get the engine warning light basically uh, and so that it keeps the ECU happy um, so yeah um, it's probably going to take us quite a while to do this me and Leo first decided to do a Subaru conversion almost when we bought the van and that was 10 years ago. Um, and we've bought our donor Subaru already and we've been stripping it down and we've had that a year. So I think the conversion is going to take a while, uh, but we're not in a rush to do it. We're taking our time. We want to do it right. So um, as you can see, the engine, the Subaru engine is out. We stripped all the wiring as well. So all the wiring from the, uh, the bulkhead, and it goes through the bulkhead and behind the dashboard, all the dash wiring, everything. We've removed the whole loom, um, which I'll show you in another video. Um, and we've got a um, we've got a manual for the Subaru, so we've got all the wiring diagrams. Um, so the the car that we've taken the engine from is a 2004 Subaru Legacy Estate. It's actually really nice, um, full leather interior, or it did have, not anymore. Full leather interior. Well, I guess it's technically still in here. Um, so we've got loads of lovely Subaru sale parts for sale if you're interested. Um, and 
the engine we're going to be doing the cam belt and the water pump and stuff um, before it goes into the VW so here is our this is our Subaru engine EJ25 2.5 litre naturally aspirated um, single cam so just eight valve I guess um, and we've saved some other parts as well um, so we've got the VW clutch as I said we're going to be using the Subaru clutch I don't know if you can see that lot we're going to be using the Subaru clutch but that when we removed everything we weren't quite sure so um, so yeah that's what we're going to be doing and um, I'll try and document our progress over the weeks or months I guess it'll probably be um, just to instill confidence in anyone that's looking or thinking about doing the same conversion I think CAN buses as the older engines become harder to find and older I think CAN bus is a viable alternative so yeah follow along and hopefully we'll be able to learn as we go